Junior Huda Abdin Noor is up by 4 o'clock every morning during the month of Ramadan. She is sure to rise before sunlight can reach Davis. Muslims participating in Ramadan fast from sunrise to sunset, and Abdin Noor's early morning meal will be in the dark. I tend to have like, the other day I had like eggs and like um, guac or avocado and stuff, and um, you'll see like dates, I don't know if you, you know the dates, we have eat those as well. I drink my milk. Um, water, um, fruits, we have like strawberries, you know, like the whole shenanigans. Sophomore Amna Ali, another Muslim observer of Ramadan, rises at 3 a.m. A few hours later, both Abdin Noor and Ali have to prepare for a day of fasting. Throughout the day, they cannot allow anything to enter their mouth. For Abdin Noor, this is not too difficult. It's just sometimes like you get a little like tired and exhausted, and so it's like kind of hard, like kind of paying attention sometimes, but like other than that, like it's like not that bad. And once you like adjust, in like a couple days in, usually doesn't affect me. Ali, however, admits that Ramadan requirements can prove challenging during class. Um, like one time in NAF, like I got really tired, so I think when I just got dizzy, that kind of affects me a lot because like I'm not really focusing on the board. But after a long day of fasting, the students can leave schoolwork behind and settle down until night sets in. Ramadan dinners offered at the Islamic Center of Davis parallel the nightly meals of Ali and Abdin Noor. After dinner, Ali and Abdin Noor can finally get to bed. For BlueDevilHub.com, this is Chloe Chetton.